Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my fashion favorites. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite pieces of this year. And I've got a few categories, so if you've got any other questions or wanna know what any of my other favorites are, drop them down in the comments section below and I'll make sure to answer your questions and also include it in my next year's video. I thought that I would start this with my favorite labels or designers and I've actually got two. So one is a more affordable label and you guys are probably gonna already know what this is. And the other is an Australian designer which I love but a lot of the time I can't afford to buy many of their pieces because they are on the pricier end of the scale. So starting with their more affordable label, it's Eveline. You guys probably already knew I talk about them so much and quite often you'll see me wearing one of their pieces in my videos. I really love the minimal styles that they have and also I think that they've got great quality. It's actually a lot of the time superior to some of the more designer or expensive pieces that I've found out there and to me that just speaks volumes. And I also love how transparent they are about how and where all of their garments are being made. Now my absolute favorite piece that I have, at least I, I mean I think, I also love their cashmere but my absolute favorite piece has to be their silk tanks and I've actually got three of them. I've got all three colors, the light gray, the navy and the black. Here are just the light gray and the navy. These are a loose fit and they have these adjustable straps and they kind of fit loose on the body and they've got these little slits here on the side and I just think that these are so beautiful. They're such a great everyday piece. I wear them for the office. I also wear them on the weekend. I think they look lovely tucked into a skirt. They look lovely with a pair of trousers either tucked in or worn loose and they also look great with jeans as well. So they're kind of one of those wonderful and perfect all-rounders. Now the other label or designer that I absolutely love is Dion Lee and I had just been eyeing up everything in his collections this past year and I think a lot goes into the construction of each piece and you can kind of see that as well. It's all in the details and one of my favorite pieces from him is this tweed skirt that I purchased during the sales last year. I love how it's kind of got this slit detail here, it's asymmetrical. I just love this exposed zipper detail with the vinyl trim which also features around the front of the skirt as well. I love the combination of the colours. I just think this is a really great everyday piece. I also purchased my engagement party dress from Dion Lee as well and that was this really beautiful pleated kind of confection of a dress and that is one of my most treasured pieces in my wardrobe. I really do wish I could afford to purchase more from him just as I feel like everything he does, he does so well. But yeah, this is just one of my favorites that I thought I'd share with you. Next I wanted to share with you my favorite jacket for the year and I wore this so much. It was one of those investment pieces. I was so nervous about spending so much money on one item and I know I have quite a number of luxury items in my wardrobe but I don't always just jump the gun and I'm not always just ready to hand over the cash for it because sometimes it really does take a lot, particularly when it's one of those more expensive pieces. And what I'm talking about is my Acne Studios leather jacket. This is the Mape leather jacket. And I really love this. It's softened up so beautifully since I purchased it. It's quite a loose biker style. But yeah, this has just been one of my favorite go-to pieces. If you're wanting to pick this up yourself, I size down. So I'm generally about an AU8, which is a US4, but more on the smaller side. And I purchased this in the European 34, French 34. So yeah, this has just been my absolute favorite jacket this year. And it kind of has trumped all of my coats as well. If I can, I'll wear this over anything else. So I thought I'd share my favorite pair of shoes with you guys and that has been my Acne Studios Jensen leather boots. And I have been looking for a pair of low, very low heeled boots for a very long time. And I kind of stumbled across these and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a go. And I really like them. I think they're very flattering. They cut off at the right point. They've got a slightly pointed toe. I just think that they're such a stunning winter boot. They have served me so well and they look great with skirts, they look great with denim, they look great with dresses. I just find that I can wear these with absolutely everything and they're so comfortable as well. They're a dream to wear and don't require any breaking in. Yeah, I just love these and I'm so glad I picked them up and I was able to get them for about half price as well. So they're a bit of a bargain too. 
Now I want to talk about one of my favorite bags and this is actually one of my old faithfuls and I've left it in the cupboard but it's my Parenza Schooler PS11 satchel and obviously I'll insert a clip of this. I've just found that this has been the bag that I've reached for so often this year even though I have had some other really amazing bags to wear but it's just been the one that I've reached for the most. I think it's because it's a classic style, it's black, goes with everything and it fits quite a decent amount of stuff in it as well. I'll put my What's In My Bag video which also includes a review for the PS11 down below just in case you haven't watched it but yeah, it's just been my overall favorite handbag this year. Now this is a little bit of a random one but I wanted to share my favorite dress with you guys. If you've been watching my videos for a long time or you've been a follower of my blog then you will know I rarely wear anything that's fitted. Most fitted dresses that I try on are generally too fitted around the hips and then too loose around the waist which creates a problem and it's why I just have stopped trying to buy them full stop but this one I found just kind of still looked good regardless and this is from Country Road and it's just a navy and white striped dress it's a midi length long sleeves and this is just so easy to wear in the winter it also looks great with a jumper thrown over the top which is what I'll do when it's really cold I also love it with my leather jacket I just think it looks really great I love the crew neck long sleeves it's everything it's just so easy to throw on when it's cold and I do not know what to wear so I have been adoring this completely this year I just think it's such a wonderful piece and it's so easy to look after as well all I've got to do is throw it in the washing machine so it gets brownie points for that then I've been thinking a lot about what I've worn most this year and I think it has to be my ASOS mini pleated skirts. I've got four of them. I've got white, camel, blush and black. So I thought I'd show you the camel one just because I think that will come up the best on camera. But it looks like this. And it's got a really cool little pleated detail. These are really easy to care for just like the country road dress. All you've got to do is throw them in the washing machine in a delicate bag and they come out looking really great. I really love these. I think they go with everything. They're so ladylike. They look perfect with a pair of heels and I just, yeah, I, I really love the style. I like how they look with a blouse even though I do feel it's a little bit 60s sort of 70s kind of a vibe but I'm just really into pleated skirts at the moment and I also think that midi length is just that perfect ladylike length without seeming frumpy. Lastly, I wanted to show you two new additions to my wardrobe and these are the most recent purchases that I've made and they're both from Topshop and that will probably surprise you guys for a couple of reasons. I hardly ever shop at Topshop even though I think they've got some really great pieces but most of the time when I go in there I never find anything that I like and also I think it's just also the fact that everything is made on mass scale and that always kind of rings a few alarm bells for me. But in saying that, I went in there the other day and I just couldn't help myself. Sometimes you've got to break your own rules. And the first piece that I grabbed was this navy and white striped long sleeve top. It's semi sheer and it's kind of got a bit of a rope detail for the stripes. I love this. I've been looking for a navy striped top for a really long time and this one just ticked all of the boxes. And I like the fact that it's a bit more lightweight so it's going to be really great for those transition seasons here in Sydney. The next piece is probably going to be a little bit more surprising and it does kind of step a little bit out of my comfort zone in terms of colour. But it's these really beautiful pink pig leg trousers. And oh, I just think these are amazing. I was inspired to purchase these by a girl who I've been following for years. Her name is Rachel James and I'll link her Instagram below. It's really beautiful and highly like curated and edited and it just looks really nice but anyway she was wearing these in one of her posts and as soon as I saw it I just knew I had to get my hands on a pair of them as well I just love the color pink they're a really nice fit I like the little wet tie waist here as well and the fact that they have a slightly cropped leg I'm really looking forward to wearing these in the autumn and winter time so they're going to be a great office staple those are all the pieces that I've really been loving this year. There's been quite a lot and obviously there are so many more pieces that I wish I could have shared in this video but I just think I could have gone too overboard too quickly. I would love to know what your favourite pieces have been this year or if there's anything that you think I have missed. Do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you guys all have a wonderful time with your families and I will see you just before the new year. See you on my next video. Bye.